It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I even got a bonus video today on Super Bowl Sunday because I don't watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> so I'm kind of immersed in scent right now. It's super cold outside. Although it's supposed to be like 60 degrees here on Wednesday, I am going to literally be running around outside doing a happy dance when it's that warm. I am excited. <laughs> but today I wanted to talk about a little haul I got. I got another haul from Kringle. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Vanilla cone. Oh my goodness. This candle is doing wonders in the kitchen. So if you saw my earlier video, I was doing a little Bath & Body Works pineapple mango. I finally um, blew this one out. But simultaneously, in the kitchen, I was doing Kringle Vanilla Cone. For those of you just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which I love doing. It's such an exciting time at Kringle, and my fellow Kringle Ambassadors are so wonderful. There's so many of them out there. If you follow anyone in the candle community, you'll kind of see a lot of Kringle Ambassadors. Check out what they have to say. It's all good, and it's nice to get different opinions. I always say, Get, a, get get more than one opinion because we all have our, you know, favorite scents and stuff. So definitely check out all the Kringle Candle Ambassadors. They are wonderful. Also, oh my gosh, because Kringle Candle has got so many good deals right now. I can't even like, oh my gosh, I, I got to go through all these deals because there's like, like nine of them or something <laughs> like Kringle. They're doing a fabulous job. And you can layer my ambassador code, which is Queen Geek, and you get an additional 15% off. So returning favorites. I got to go over these really quick. First, um, Tonka Bean and Vanilla is another vanilla one you're going to want to check out along with Vanilla Cone. This one has got a little honey in it, a little coconut. I love it cold. I still have to burn it. We have dewdrops. We have pink grapefruit. We have the apple basil. We have, oh my gosh, you guys, this one I think is sold out. The vanilla lavender. Oh my gosh, this one is so good, you guys. I love this one. The la um, the lavender blueberry. That one actually got restocked. <laughs> Thank goodness. That one is fabulous. I reviewed that one. And then we have um, the vanilla latte, which I think this one is now sold out too. I don't know if they're restocking these. These have been really popular and they are on sale for 30% off. You layer the ambassador code and you get them for like $17 and change. And this is a 22 ounce candle. So those are on sale right now. Valentine's Day weekend special. If you spend $150, you are going to get the Bougie Bay candle for free. So that's, I think ends today. There's a Valentine's Day special, the medium three wick candles. You're going to get two for 30. So that's like $15 each layer on the code. You're going to, what, there's going to be down to like 13 and change, I think. And then they have the Valentine's Day bundle, three for 60. But wait, I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> there is more. Um, the, the daylight bundles. Um, 12 for $29, layer on the code, Queen Geek, another 15% off that takes you down like another five bucks, almost $5, like $4.50. Um, keep in mind, however, the daylights, oh my gosh, this smells so good, by the way, Blooming Plumeria, these are not the 100% soy. I don't know if they're going to do the daylights going forward. I'll have to ask, um, in the 100% soy, these are like the paraffin or the paraffin blend. They look like the blend a little bit. Um, but you do get a good idea of what a candle smells like before you buy it. So I, I highly recommend picking up the daylights. These are neat. You can put them in gifts. Also, <laughs> there's another sale. Um, satisfy, oh, satisfy your sweetheart. They've got um, like the warm apple pie, the pumpkin cheesecake. Those are 25% off. Honestly, I think the whole Kringle site is like on sale right now. And the Founders Day, two, there's like a whole bunch of candles, two for 20. So this is the haul I got like Friday or Saturday. Um, this is so neat. This is the Michael Kittredge, the second... He was uh, born February 1st, 1952, and um, he passed away in 2019, 
but they did a remembrance candle for him. How awesome is this with the black band? For those of you who didn't know, um, Michael Kittrich was the founder of Yankee Candle, and then he started Kringle, um, and his son is running it. It's, it's an amazing company. I cannot say enough good things. Check this out. This smells amazing. I cannot say enough good things about Kringle. The people, the candles, the quality. My entire experience with Kringle has been so positive since I started buying Kringle candles like years ago. So happy I am now an ambassador for this company because they just make me smile like literally on a daily basis. So what did I get in my haul? It wasn't a huge haul. I got the, um, the Michael Kittredge Remembrance candle in the haul. I just wanted to have that as, as part of my collection. I got a second coffee shop. This one is so good. I am favoring the soy wax though. I gotta say, I like the bright colors and the paraffin, but the soy wax is like my thing now. But that one smells really good. Also, oh my goodness. So they're starting to turn a lot of their like classic Kringle fragrances like vanilla cone, French lavender over to the new 100% soy wax. So if years ago you were experiencing Kringle and you thought maybe they were on the light side, give them another try. I kid you not, this 100% soy wax is fabulous. Um, each candle, they come with really long wicks, but you know what? You don't have to even trim these. They burn down like a dream. Seriously, you light these up, they just, it's like magic. They just, woo, they just, <laughs> they just disappear. There's no soot. It's wonderful. French lavender, you guys. Look at this. I cannot wait to burn this one in the soy wax. I also, I'm, I'm thinking spring in case you hadn't noticed here. I also got um, fresh lilac. Oh my gosh. This one smells so good, you guys. I'm so excited about that one. Um, and then I got the vanilla cone, which I'm going to review for you now. So let me move a couple of these candles. My whole desk is covered in candles, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> I am loving this. Okay, let me get my uh, scent notes up for Vanilla Cone. There is nothing better, in my opinion, than a pure on vanilla candle. Like sometimes you just want vanilla, you know, that's it. <laughs> Vanilla cone is like literally a vanilla ice cream cone. Perfect depiction on the front here. This one is a buttery rich vanilla with a sweet gourmand note for extra depth and in intrigue. A Kringle candle, their candles have a lot of depth. I gotta say they really put a lot of thought into each scent note and how it layers. The top note, butters and caramel. Oh my gosh, I gotta talk about this caramel note. The mid notes are homemade waffles and milk, and the base is powdered sugar and vanilla. So, a lot of times, caramel can be too sweet in a candle. Bath and Body Works is notoriously, like sometimes their, 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 their caramels are a little bit on the like really sickeningly sweet side. So, I always like kind of watch out for a caramel note. I tend to like butterscotch a little bit better. Not in this case. I love the um, the caramel note here because it's not overpowering or ridiculously sweet. The butter, I think, is what counteracts the sweetness in that caramel and makes it really, really good. You get a homemade waffle, but it's like a dry waffle. It's not icky, mapley, overpowering sweet. It's like a nice, it's like a waffle cone. Take it from someone who in her teens worked at TCBY. Yes, I made the waffle cones <laughs> at the country's best yogurt for like two years. I reeked of waffle cone. They actually had really good waffle cones though. Theirs were delicious, absolutely wonderful. And this candle <laughs> kind of reminds me of the waffle cones that we served at TCBY. But um, check this out. It's gorgeous. The throw on this one is super solid for a vanilla cone. Vanilla's hard because vanilla doesn't always travel. The richness in this vanilla is good for 
I would say a small to medium room. If you put this in a living room that's got like 15, 20 foot ceilings, it's probably not going to fill that entire space. However, you're probably still going to smell it. Honestly, like I am impressed with this vanilla candle. Again, it's the soy wax. I swear the soy wax has been such a game changer for me in terms of strength in these candles. Check it out. I'm getting the good wax pull on this one. It's wonderful. There's no soot. This is a dream to burn. So anyway, I am all about this one. This one's getting a 10 for me. Seriously, this has been making my day. I am all about the vanilla cone. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for watching. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, and don't forget to use my code QueenGeek for an extra 15% off. If you have vanilla cone, let me know, because I really want to really know what you think. I want to know. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.